In this lesson, we're going to build off our knowledge of the nucleophilic character of the alpha carbon and introduce the aldol addition reaction, a classic chemical transformation that has found widespread use in organic synthesis. Now let's take a look at the general reaction scheme of the aldol addition reaction. Building on the lessons that we've learned of carbonyl chemistry, we know that carbonyl containing molecules have both nucleophilic and electrophilic sites. Therefore, it's not surprising that in a reaction between two molecules of acid aldehyde, one molecule can serve as a nucleophile and the other can serve as an electrophile. In this reaction, the nucleophilic alpha carbon of one molecule of acid aldehyde reacts with the electrophilic carbonyl carbon, the other molecule of acid aldehyde, in an ADN step. This creates a new carbon-carbon bond between the alpha carbon of our nucleophile and what was the carbonyl carbon of the electrophile which has now become a beta carbon because it is two carbons away from the carbonyl. The term aldol comes from the fact that we create a beta hydroxyaldehyde, an aldehyde and alcohol on the same molecule, hence the term aldol. Now you should be able to easily identify a molecule that was created through an aldol addition reaction by seeing the alpha carbon connected to a beta carbon that is connected to an oxygen. There are two general mechanistic pathways for an aldol addition reaction. The first is a base catalyzed process. By using a base such as hydroxide that is not as strong as other bases that we've used for enolate formation such as lithium diisopropyl amide, the enolate only partially forms in solution. This means that only some of the molecules of acid aldehyde are formed into an enolate leaving other molecules of acid aldehyde to serve as the electrophile in the aldol addition reaction. The first step in the mechanism is a simple proton transfer to deprotonate the alpha proton on the alpha carbon and create a resonance stabilized enolate anion. The enolate anion then acts as a nucleophile and attacks the carbonyl carbon of another molecule of acid aldehyde in an ADN step. And finally, a proton transfer leads us to the product. The mechanistic pathway for the formation of the aldol product under acid catalysis varies slightly from the base catalyzed mechanism. Although the same general elementary steps are involved, different intermediates are involved in the mechanism. Under acidic conditions, tautomerization leads to an enol instead of an enolate, and a proton transfer protonates the basic oxygen of the carbonyl. Now even though the enol is slightly less nucleophilic than the enolate, protonation of the carbonyl oxygen creates a powerful electrophile that the enol can attack. In the same two steps that were involved in the base catalyzed mechanism, we have an ADN step followed by a proton transfer that leads to the aldol addition product. Again, as a reminder when you're working through mechanisms, Think about the conditions of the reaction. Under acidic conditions, there's probably not going to be any negatively charged intermediates that are formed, as these would simply be protonated extremely rapidly. Therefore, as you continue your studies of organic chemistry and mechanisms, always think about the bigger picture and make sure that the intermediates that you're forming in each step make good chemical sense.